Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, Dumb SEO Questions, episode 409. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to review the uh, questions and answers given uh, on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us tonight we have uh, David Roseanne. David is a leading internet marketer. He's based in... Uh, uh, Brighton, or no, no, not Brighton, West Sussex, uh, on the sunny side of the UK. Just, just, just along from Brighton. Yeah, just not, not too far from Brighton, with those big rocks that they call sand. Um, yeah, and um, Masataki Wartha is webmaster of uh, wasserweb.net. He is a Google product expert in the AdSense uh, community. Uh, and Tim Kapper, um, uh, Tim Kapper, fresh uh, from uh, um, winning an award as the best local SEO agency uh, in Middle Middle England. Um, he uh, this was last night, along with Mike Fisher Kirsten, um, and these two guys uh, um, were included in the list made up by Search Engine Journal as. 202 of the most influential uh, uh, search engine optimizers. All right. Um, Tim is a um, uh, web webmaster, CEO of onlineownership.com. He is based about 100 miles north of London. And Masataki is uh, based in London, um, in Wimbledon, and uh, uh, as I said, he was webmaster of wasserweb.net, but I am waffling. All right, let's go to the first uh, question we have. Um, let me see. Uh, this is from Demetrius Maddox. Uh, it's um, titled, How Much Content on the Page Should There Be? Demetrius said, uh, when trying to rank for multiple location pages, service and location, um, how much content on the page uh, should be static versus dynamic? I thought that just dynamically replacing the location information is not enough to rank, and there should be more unique content uh, on uh, each um, page. Is this true? Um, yes, <laughs> um, the, 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 the question at the top, how much content what they should be, uh, and the specific, um, should I be putting out lots of, um, duplicate content, uh, are two different questions. Um, uh, maybe I'm being a bit, uh, maybe I'm just messing about with the idea that should I put out lots of, uh, uh, duplicate content, duplicate content, but that's really what you would be doing if you're uh, putting up uh, a number of pages, multiple location pages, um, and just changing um, London for Edinburgh and Glasgow. Say, um, there's uh, not enough quality, not enough difference there. So uh, um, you need to you need to put some effort into your into your content, um, and you need to get some value in there, not just uh, not just a template. Um, yeah, I think that's that's the the short answer. Uh, we'll see if anyone's got the long answer. Anybody with a longer answer for uh, Tim? Well, yeah, I mean, David, David pretty much covered it. You should be trying to make um, something as unique and relevant to that search query as possible. Thank you, Tim. All right. Um, and um, there's a nice quote from Michael Martinez. The, 
um, the more unique the page's content, the easier it is to optimize that page for specific goals. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next. This one is from Akash Raj. Um, do I have to focus on mobile user experience? Does Google go for mobile first indexing even on websites which had have over 95% desktop top traffic? Because of the niche I serve, I won't ever get that much mobile traffic. Um, do I have to focus on mobile user experience and mobile page speed, although it provides no practical benefit for visitors? It seems like a waste of resource so if there's no uh, SEO uh, benefit. Well, I'm assuming that his site is, um, you know, uh, I'm assuming he, he doesn't have two domains, one for mobile and one for uh, one for desktop. Um, I'm assuming it's his site's responsive. So if your site's responsive, um, you shouldn't have to be worrying too much about that. You may want to just tidy it up a bit because this is mobile first indexing, so it's based upon that. But um, you know, it would still make sense for you to look at, um, you know, maybe if your your text is too small for mobile, just about you know increasing it to twelve to 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 you know whatever the case may be. Um, but but no, I mean, you know, if it's responsive, you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Um, and if it's doing well uh, with your desktop traffic and it's positioned well with desktop, then, you, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about it. Thank you, Tim. Anything to add to that, guys? No, but I think I reiterate that it doesn't have to be mobile optimized but it has to be mobile usable so that you know, if someone is actually using a mobile device then the site should be usable it may not be optimal but you know five percent is still five percent of traffic so you do want to ensure that um the site works on mobile it doesn't have to be pretty it doesn't have to be great but it needs to work on mobile devices Thank you, Mr. Taki. Right, let's move on to number three on our run list. This one from Miley Barty. Um, it's titled, What is the best way to make my, blank, my blogs uh, rank on Google and to generate traffic on them? I have uh, two blogs from our content writer and have done their SEO but they are not ranking on Google and aren't generating much traffic. Um, I suspect that they are ranking to some extent if you're getting some traffic. Um, if we can take that last, uh, that last bit at face value. Um, the... This is a this is a long term project for you. It's not just a case of getting a couple of uh, pieces um, written uh, and put put on your site um, and doing your SEO. Um, you need to, you need to think of this as being months or a year before you start really getting some 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 traffic some useful traffic and that's a month that's months or a year of actually putting significant amounts of good quality content up on your your website um it's not just a case of uh, having 300 words written um and then doing uh doing the the title tag um etc etc um so you need to be getting really good content, 
posted, good quality content posted over a, a significant period of time. Um, and then you might start seeing seeing some uh, some, some traffic uh, that's that's going to make you some money. I take it that's what you want. Um, so yeah, you need to look. The best way is to take a long term view and just keep at it. Thank you, David. Any more? I see Barry Barnard uh, on the, on the uh, Facebook uh, through the week agrees with you, David. Uh, he said uh, if they are generating any traffic at all, it means that they are ranking. Uh, when did you publish this post and what is the status of the rest of your site in terms of organic uh, um, position? All right, let's... Um, Wander along to number four on our run list, and um, this one is titled, uh, I have a question regarding schemas. Um, this is from Mohammed Abdullah. Um, he said, I have a website which is built on Laravel. I don't know what Laravel is. I haven't seen or heard of that. Um, I have to add organisation and website schema on the homepage. Um, will I add the same schema code of organization and website um, into service and blog pages too, or will it create some trouble for me? I need urgent help. They don't fight over guys. Yeah. Um, right. Laravel is a PHP framework, I think. Um, um, I've heard my my geeky developer friends talk about it. Um, so, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, you should add it to your home page. Um, It it this is a this is a question of whether you're adding um, adding the the schema manually to the pages or whether you have something to automate it. Um, if if it were a WordPress site, you you could have um, something like um, something like Yoast that would. Uh, put your basic schema on all the pages in the uh, on the website. Um, some will say that that's not what you should be doing, um, um, and I'm not always a great fan of Yoast. But I suspect that uh, uh, if that was going to cause a lot of problems, then uh, they would have stopped doing that by now. Um, so, um, will I add the same schema code of organization and website into service and blog page two? If you have to do it manually, don't bother. Um, because strictly, as far as I understand it, organization um, schema should only go on the home page. Um, and if you're, if you're doing schema very, very strictly, you should only put schema on the relevant page. But as I say, I think in practice, that's not the case. Um, so I, if you're doing it manually, stick to the rules. Um, if you have some kind of device um, to put your schema in place without too much bother, then um, you're probably going to be OK. Um, does that make sense? It does. All right. That's. Um, do we have any more from anybody? Let's move on to the next one. Number five on our run list from Nathaniel Dolesh, titled I'm thinking to change the URLs to a simpler convention. 
He said, I have a handful of posts created on, on WordPress and I'm thinking to change their slug slash URLs uh, to a simpler convention. Um, the old way was domain.com slash long dash post dash title dash about dash cafe one. And the new way is domain.com slash cafe one. Um, does this matter much uh, for SEO? Sometimes the slug would be identical to the, um, the, the keyword of, of the post, but certainly not for all posts. The full title is more descriptive, but uh, I thought it feels way more organised to go by the name of the place instead. The site gets uh, little traffic, so I'm not worried about setting up 301 redirects for people attempting to access old URLs. Aside from obviously updating any internal links that referencing these posts, are there any other actions um, to take? Um, oh dear me. Um, stop there. Uh, he said, uh, I'm using a rank map, which I guess should take care of the site maps. Uh, is Google Search Console going to, to fish slap me for uh, changing uh, URLs or penalise me in any other ways? Uh, thanks. Uh, Nathaniel said thanks. Oh, um, yes. I, 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 I'm tempted just to give my... Um, my standard response to such things, which is don't mess about with it. Um, you're perfectly okay with your long post title about Cafe One. Um, you might want to say something else about Cafe One. So your long post title, um, uh, your long post title number two about Cafe One might be useful. Um, but, you know, why, why go to all the bother? Um, I would just carry on. I would just leave it and go and do something more useful with your time, like putting some more content on your website. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I agree. Um, it doesn't really matter. So why change things when you don't need to? You probably could do other things that would be more worthwhile. And... I'm a bit worried um, by the fact that he stated he wouldn't 301 redirect the URLs. I think you should do so if you can, if you were to go down this route. It may not get traffic, but you know it's indexed. It's probably indexed. You probably have links. I wonder whether he means um, I'm not worried that I have to set up 301 redirects for people attempting to access old URLs. I don't know. Yeah, but I think the general point is that if you do change the um, aggressive yeah, absolutely. 301 redirect, you know, even if, even if um, there's little traffic to it, All right, let's um, move, move right along down to uh, number six on our run list from Jamie Slack. He said, I have lost a lot of website, natural website traffic lately. Um, he said, I'm, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, th does anybody have any good tactics to check? I seem to have lost traffic on most of my web pages. Um, uh, so what he's, he's lost traffic on most of his pages. Um, okay. So the first thing I would do is I would look at search console 
um, and look at your pages and then look at those positions. Um, what's happened? Also be looking at your impressions. Um, did for some reason those search queries, you know, uh, just no longer get searched. It happens. Um, if also look at your positions. I mean, that's, you know, Search Console can provide you, look at your URLs and then just look at your impressions and that based on that. Um, that would be the first obvious uh, thing to start looking at uh, is why, if your positions are there, why are people no longer clicking on it? Um, have the positions decreased? Um, does your page, the title and that no longer fit the query? Um, on that page, are people just not not looking at your page in that search result and clicking on the one above you or below you? Um, those are the first things. Um, also in Search Console, just do a quick check that actually um, those pages are still indexed. Uh, have they just miraculously disappeared? Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of things that you can start checking. Maybe two. Yeah. In addition, the, the the other thing I've I've had happen to a client is um, something um, well specifically um, another. Uh, it was on a shared host, and another site, um, presumably, um, started interfering with the performance of their site, um, and the thing got really slow. And um, Google appeared to nobble them for it. Um, and we ended up moving hosts. Um, and things are a lot happier now. So I would, um, if you're not getting any sense from GSC, I would start looking for other things. Start, start looking at if your, um, your website has slowed down, for one thing. Um, as I say, that was definitely a case. Uh, with this client site, um, whatever happened to the hosting, it just almost crawled to a halt. Um, and, you know, if something like that, that's happening, that could be causing you problems as well. But um, I would go to, uh, I would go to Google Search Console first. Thank you, David. Anybody else? Okay. All right. I think this is um, that time. Uh, let me just see. It's number. Yes, it's thank you for watching time. All right. We'll be back at the same time uh, next week um, to do this um, all again. Um, but um, before I go, before we go, we must thank uh, people like Michael Martinez and Michael Stricker and Brendan Ballone, um, people who uh, answer questions uh, on the WCA Questions Facebook group um, and provide fast and, and ready answers uh, and uh, make our job uh, so much easier. And for that, we're so grateful. All right, um, and of course I can't go without thanking you guys, uh, uh, Tim Kappa and uh, Micah Fisher Kirshner. Micah's not good, normally is, um, and uh, um, David Razan, Masataki Wasa. Your con contribution is uh, so valuable, and you know, it, it uh, makes Damasio uh, questions such a, a solid resource. All right, um, so now all I have to do is figure out which button to press. There we are, stop the recording.